How was it? Uh, great. Excellent. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. We did. We did. Was it good? Was it fun? Great. Excellent. Thanks. Totally the bomb, man. I love that thumbs up. Excellent. Thanks for coming out. How was it? Yeah. Thank you so much also to the Seaside Company and the Boardwalk and the City of Santa Cruz Public Works Department uh, for hosting this event and allowing this to happen. Uh, the rail trail is a safe way for people to walk, ride, and roll from the west side to the east side. You will notice also we are only going 10 miles per hour. Once the tracks are upgraded, this tram can actually go as fast as 50 miles per hour. Seabright was one of the several stops on the electric streetcar, streetcar line between Santa Cruz and Texas. The streetcar pulled right up to the Seabright Hotel, located here on Seabright Avenue near the Southern Pacific Railroad Street. We're located in Chatsworth, California, and everything in the car you see here today is designed and built in California. So we've eliminated that cost. That's our mission, to bring the cost of electrified railway down to the level where systems like this can afford it. So the cost of this vehicle is very low. The cost of maintaining the vehicle is very low. The car is guaranteed for 30 years structurally, 10 years on the battery. Mount bikes both on the outside and the inside. So I think they can carry up to, what, 16 bikes? Yes. Connecting the east and west sides of Santa Cruz, these trail segments will provide 48,000 nearby residents with a dedicated bicycle and pedestrian trail, connecting 15 schools and 37 parks. North Santa Cruz County has 17 miles of rail trail from Davenport to Aptos Village. This area is known as Live Oak. Until the 20th century, this area was largely agricultural, known especially for its chicken and egg ranches. We're passing Simpkins School right now, your resident pool center. Excellent farmer's market in Live Oak. Yeah. Every Sunday. In the future, we'll have rail stops all along the way between Santa Cruz and Watsonville. way up in our community. So having tourists being able to use fast, reliable service would really help not only the tourists get around our community, but also the locals who live here and get bogged down by traffic. So we are entering now with Jade Street Park, the city of Capitola. Capitola was started out as a tent camp on the beach in the 1870s. Um, we come to the end of the ride where we'll not turn around but head back in the other direction. And I just want to urge you all to think about if instead of stopping here, we just kept going all the way to Watsonville. Yes. beyond Watsonville to Monterey because remember Monterey is building their tracks from Monterey to yeah. Watsonville. Those guys, yeah. they got it going. They know what they're doing. The other thing is a lot of people say, oh, well, disabled people have paratransit. We have paracruise. But paracruise, you have to make your reservations in advance. And I'm kind of a spontaneous person. You know, I hear about something. Oh, I want to go. Oops, didn't make a reservation. So uh, it's kind of highway two. to give a shout out to what the rail line would do for the student population. 
I graduated UC Santa Cruz in 2016, and the housing crisis was bad then, but it's even worse now. But the rail line would allow students to live farther away from campus for more affordable options, perhaps. Live Oak has a population density of over 5,291 people per square mile. And considering the viability of public transit, density of development is what makes it successful. And we definitely have the density here. In 2003, when Santa Cruz County applied for the grant to purchase the rail line, it was supported unanimously by all four city councils, all the supervisors, the entire RTC, and many local organizations. Can I see a uh, show of hands of who would travel to Watsonville more often? I have friends in Watsonville and I hardly ever see them because the traffic is so bad. Speaking of commute time, did you know that during the summer, the boardwalk is the largest employer in the county? Many of those summer employees would be able to take advantage of this quick ride to work. In fact, the RTC found that adding light rail to our public transportation system will increase usage by 250%. Imagine the potential of today's tourists arriving to enjoy this area by rail. Envision tourists without traffic or having the option to be a tourist by rail ourselves. I want to ride my bike to Monterey and come back home on the terrain. <laughs> <laughs> I love this area. This is a sea break and um, on the, my right is a climbing gym. It's a huge climbing gym. If you haven't had a chance to experience it, you like to climb, that's a great place to go. There's also oven pizza and a lot of other wonderful little hidden spots. Oh, someone mentioned the Linda Seabreeze Cafe. Oh, and yes, the Java Junction. Come and have a coffee or a mocha at Java Junction. They love the rail. They want to see us in business here. Come and drink and not drive. Come and drink and not drive. <laughs> I also like to call this bridge the Lost Boys Bridge. We hope that you have enjoyed this peek into how our publicly owned rail corridor can be used for both rail and trail.